and there are like no reviews of the breaking ice out there. Art House Tuesday continues here at Breakfast All Day. We are now talking about the breaking ice from Singapore in our chilly movie day. We're continuing here in the ice along the North Korean border. Alonzo, what's it about? Yeah, and if this isn't enough winter for you, go check out our Patreon, where we're talking about the very chilly new season of uh, True Detective that was filmed entirely in Iceland and mostly in the dark. Uh, so yeah, this is a drama uh, about um, uh, a young man from Shanghai who works in the finance industry, who is clearly battling with uh, a very deep depression. Um, he comes to a remote uh, province near the North Korean border for a friend's wedding and uh, winds up taking a tour with a local tour guide, uh, uh, Nana, played by uh, Dong Yu Zhou. A love triangle emerges. Uh, she is uh, friends with and, and the romantic object of the affections of uh, a restaurant owner named uh, Han Xiao. And um, the three of them, uh, including uh, actor Hao Ran Liu, uh, sort of come to realize over the course of a few days uh, that none of them are at a place in their lives where they really want to be. Uh, the the tour guide had been a very promising athlete and sort of walked away from it. The, the restaurant uh, owner uh, has never left his small town and maybe kind of is coming to grips with the fact that he he wants to see more of the world and and the guy from shanghai uh thought that you know working hard and and you know leaving his own small town and going to to succeed in the big city would be you know the answer to his life's problems and and it's not working out that way either so uh, over the course of a few uh wintry days uh, uh they they change each other's lives this is a beautifully shot film. It's written and directed by Anthony Chen. He had a film at Sundance a couple years ago called Drift that is finally now making it to theaters this February. I just found out today. But uh, after that movie, he went back uh, to Asia and made this one. And, uh, you know, it is this is a movie that literally opens with ice bricks being, you know, chainsawed out of the tundra. Uh, and so, you know, you think the entire movie is going to have that sort of like uh, icy uh, um, uh, chill to it. But he finds a lot of interesting places to take his characters, these sort of outdoor um, kind of, you know, neon installations or ice labyrinths or whatever. So there's a lot of different tones visually going on here as well as emotionally. Um, but it is this really beautiful story about these people kind of coming together Together and that that sense of being adrift when maybe you aren't in your usual geographic location or you're meeting new people and you can be far more open with them than you could with you know people you've known for a long time and and so you really get all of those feelings woven together here with this film. I like it a lot. Me too. And I love the sense of place. And I learned so much. There's this whole, the Yanji part of Northeastern China along the North Korean border and how it's like, it's all Korean culture there. And I had no clue. So I learned a lot, first of all, but um, it really captures that feeling of being in flux professionally, personally, everyone who lives in this place is from someplace else. And so they're all kind of unstable. It just, it captures, as you say, that, that point in your life in like your early to mid twenties where you're just not settled, but the people that you meet end up being really transformative and yeah. really influential because you're kind of creating your own little makeshift family. And I think about the people that I work with in my early twenties at newspapers, you know, long ago and how, like I've stayed in touch with them, even though it's been like 30 years, <laughs> but it's a time in your life that is, it's so significant when you're out of college and you're figuring out where you are on your own. And this really captures that quite a bit. And it also has a lot of French new wave to it in its mm. tone, in its structure yeah. with the, the three of them. So it's kind of like band apart. You know? and Jim. Yeah. For yeah. Sure. Like with the, the two men and the woman and there's a, a romance, but again, that too feels very amorphous and kind of constantly in flux as far as like who's attracted to whom the three of them all kind of need each other in ways that are unexpected. Um, there's a scene where they're at a bookstore where they dare each other to do something. And that felt very like the bold kind of, Oh, insubordination or like the, <laughs> the recklessness that you'll see in like in French New Wave and the thrill yeah. of that and the, the yeah. getting away with something, you know. So I think it owes a lot to other styles of filmmaking, but is very much its own thing at the same time. 
Definitely. And, and, you know, I think, you know, when I saw the trailer, I wondered, is there going to be, is this going to be a, a legit love triangle in terms of are the two men going to have any kind of rapport that way? And, you know, obviously, I think between China and Singapore, these are not countries where you can really make films like that and not find yourself, you know, facing down the censors. So they don't really dig into that aspect of it. But there is something going on between them, if not romantic, at least a recognition of restlessness uh, uh at least a friendship that bonds and and you know they're obviously their mutual feelings about the 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 woman in the triangle about nana who has her own life issues and her own sort of feelings of, of restlessness and and wondering about you know roads paths not taken a fascinating film i hope people seek it out um because i think it really pops on the big screen again the 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 way that the just the, the wintry stuff is so great but then all the sort of other kind of tones they find uh in in the color and the cinematography along the way you know it would help keep them warm though during these chilly days Do here tell. in china <laughs> is coffee from our friends at coffee brothers we have a deal with them you get 15 percent off of your order with our code which is breakfast 15 you get Free shipping with orders of at least $50, which seems like a thing that you could do if you go look at their website. There's a million different kinds of flavors. They now have Colombian coffees that are new to them, which you should nice. give a try to. Um, we have enjoyed their holiday blend recently, which they're all sold out of, but wait till next year. Yes. Um, so give them a try. We have a link to them down below, our friends at Coffee Bros. Um, yeah, and with all three of these characters, I think they dip into their histories just enough to indicate to us, like, what are they running from? Like, mm -hmm. who, who were they? Who do they not want to be anymore? And who right. do they have to face as their, their true selves without, like, spelling it all out? There's sort of a, a tantalizing vagueness to it, and yet, like, just enough characterization to give us a hold on who these people are. Yeah, so. definitely. This is not the kind of narrative that holds your hand that explains everything, but you do get enough. You get that, that sense that, that they have of of uh, like you said what wh who who did they used to be who did they almost become what could they still be now yeah and some beautiful beautiful cinematography and also some kind of cool I don't know, there's a thing that happens toward the end, which may or may not be real. <laughs> there's some kind of, <laughs> kind of supernatural kind of ethereal stuff that goes on that's kind of magical that at that point makes sense. I think the sense of isolation lends itself to, not unlike True Detective, which we're talking about on our Patreon, yep. lends itself to the possibility that like anything could happen here, and maybe it's real, and maybe it's not. Yeah. Shout out to <laughs> cinematographer Jingpin Yu, who is Taiwanese and uh, a woman cinematographer, which is that's not, awesome. not super common to this day. So, you know, yeah, she, she has great work here. Cool. What's your number? Uh, like eight and a half. I, yeah. I, I think this is really gorgeous, and, and I, I hope it finds an audience here. I will say an 8.7 for this one as well. And there are like no reviews of the breaking ice out there. I wow. look, so I am very happy that we are maybe one of the first, if not the first review of this movie out there. So go and check it out. The Breaking Ice is in theaters now, yes? Yes, making its way around the country. Keep an eye out for it if it's not already where you are. And yeah, this was Singapore's uh, Oscar entry. And, um, you know, I think it's right up there with some of the films that got nominated this year. So check it out.